hello everyone welcome back to the channel today is quite a special day for me because today that i'm filming this video is first of july and i particularly like the month of july not just because it's the month i was born but i don't know maybe because i was born in july so many things happen in july for me like i i'm always i i make bold moves in july and i'm looking forward to the moves that i'm going to make in this month i hope that i shock myself this time around as well and it also ushers us into the second half of the year so i think that that's something significant for every single person and this time around i'm actually thinking about the journey this year you know especially the youtube journey my youtube journey so i want us to reflect about the journey so far i want to ask you guys i want you to interact with me in the comment section tell me uh, how have you been faring with my content so far do you think that i should do more of a particular type of thing do you think i should do less of a particular type of thing is there anything you think that i should bring into the channel that will make it a bit more engaging for everybody how just how exactly do you think i can do better as a content creator i just hope that you guys are getting value i know that when we started right i talked about telling stories even if they are not stories <laughs> because i realized that i have not told that many stories but i talked about lessons and you know just ensuring that you learn something so tell me so far have you learned anything from this channel because me i don't want to go on doing something that is not giving people that much value so you may have gotten value more here and there but on the whole overall how am i doing like i can take it i i don't mind your feedback i'm asking for it so i'm ready for it whether it is negative whether it is positive it is feedback and i'm willing to do what i have to do to improve on my output on this channel okay so as of now uh, in terms of subscribers i can't exactly say that i've hit my target number of subscribers i know that when we started i said that i was aiming to get to let's say 500 to 1000 before the end of the year hmm about that <laughs> we're just a little over 200 subscribers but i'm so thankful for every single subscriber on this channel i want to believe that everyone who has subscribed to my channel is here because they believe that i have something to offer and that there's some value coming from here so i'm really really super thankful in terms of how we can grow further that is why we keep on saying please share share these videos and when you share with people encourage them to subscribe that's the only way that we can continue to grow i'm also looking at different ways that we can grow the channel as well yeah, maybe eventually as at last week you saw a video already that i i did with a colleague and a friend of mine so you might be seeing more of such things moving forward it wasn't i mustn't do those videos with youtubers per se it can be anybody i feel that has something to offer to the channel but in terms of collaboration i know that that is also going to help the channel as well so just in order to help to do your own part just share the videos where you can um encourage people to subscribe okay it's also be nice to know if i've met your expectation in terms of content is this what you perceived that you were going to get from the channel or am i am i deviating from what it was supposed to be you know things like that i just i just need feedback like that this is introspection and i think that the middle of the year is a good time to actually look inwards get feedback see where you can improve on a, any aspect of your life and then 
head into the second half of the year so that you can see what you can get out, out of the rest part of the year. Something else that happens to me in July is that I just generally feel refreshed. I feel like I'm, I'm starting over. It feels like a new year for me. So in July, I can get my nails fixed. Yes, this July I'm going to do full-on pedicure and manicure. And I'm going to get my nails done. See, that thing stresses the life out of me. But I do it twice a year. Most times I do it twice a year. In July and in December. <laughs> so, but even if I don't get to do my nails in December, I do in July simply because I, I don't know i just feel this type of I, I don't know if everyone feels that way in their birth month or if it's just a thing of that july is the start of the second half of the year but i'm so pumped up in july and then sometimes in august it just goes like but still um i enjoy it while it lasts i enjoy i get i get a lot done when i'm feeling that way and so that so even when the energy level comes down at least i would have gone some distance in whatever it is that I, i'm doing or that i wanted to do so tell me in the comments is it a thing is, is it just me is there a particular month that makes you feel this way where you just feel like oh you want to take care of yourself you just want to do some things that you don't always do you just want to pay some attention to self-care things like that also in july i in taking stock i remember some of the things that i start in most in my past julys <laughs> okay one of the things that i started i think that should be seven years ago is my business so aside from having a nine to five or a seven to five as i call it i have a business it's called light haven educational services so that's where i do like most of my thing around education so i consult there i do um, children's programs you know but basically everything we do in light haven is focused on character and literacy so I started it in July 2017 and I can tell you I've not given that business the much needed attention that it has always needed but hopefully that might change very soon I don't know but just to give an example I feel like there are times when I've failed you know that I, I've gone into several things that I've failed before, but I've never stopped moving. So I just want to tell you, as you're taking stock, if you feel like there are things that you that have not been as successful as you expected them to be, don't be discouraged. Just dust yourself up and try again. So that's you know one of the things that July does for me. I don't know about you. But I would like to know from the comments. If you share with me, I'll be happy to know. Okay, so like I said, this video is just me taking stock of all the things that have happened so far, especially with regards to YouTube. Sometimes it's been, it's not been easy. Sometimes I felt like just letting it all go. But then I remember my 208 subscribers or 207 or 206 or whatever amount of subscribers i have right now who are already there and so i just have to you know get up and do it and there's something that my husband always tells me he says that anything can be successful as far as you keep at it as far as you're consistent consistency he keeps on drumming it and drumming it and drumming it into my ears so yeah in terms of consistency i don't i wouldn't say i've been 100 percent consistent but i've been trying i've been doing my best you know bearing in mind that i have a full-time job 
I have a family to look after and I have a baby. Don't forget, in case you don't know, I have a baby. So, I mean, I could have used all these things as excuses, but I've been doing the best that I can. Also, let's talk about my editing. About this editing thing, right? I just want to say that anything you want to do, just do it. Just do it. Don't wait to say, oh, I don't have this skill, or I don't have this skill. Even the little amount of that skill that you have, start with it. Okay? I'm not the best editor. Every, ah, you should know that. I'm just doing my best. I edit my videos by myself. I don't, no one does it for me. I do everything from the thumbnail to everything. I just amateurly do it. And I think I'm getting better at it, if, if I can say so myself. What do you think? Is my editing getting better or do you have any tips for me? Anything you feel like I can apply just to make it better? Me, I'm always willing to learn. I'm always willing to learn. Whatever you have for me, whatever word of encouragement you have for me, I'm here for it, please. How can I improve my editing? And how am I doing so far with my editing? Also, I want to tell you, if you have been thinking of starting a YouTube channel, look, the only difference between me and you is six months. So don't make it wider. Just pick up your phone and start. Just pick up your phone and start. Download any of the uh, common editing apps online and get on with it, okay? So the difference between me and you is six months and then 200 and something subscribers. Who knows? You could start now and then overtake me. A friend of mine called me, you know, and she was saying, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel. I said, because my ears have heard it, you're not going to get any peace. You must start. You must start. As far as I've heard it, because I know for how long I kept on saying, I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to start a YouTube channel, but I never got around to doing it. Imagine if I had started a YouTube channel five years ago, or let's even say three years ago. Just see, just imagine how far I would have been. So what's that thing that you've been postponing or you've been putting away? Just pick up your phone, your whatever you need, whatever you have in your hand. Just pick it up and start, okay? So... I think I'm going to end it here. I, I'm beginning to ramble on for too long. But I hope that, you know, in all this plenty talk that I've just dropped, you picked one thing or the other. Just share with me in the comments. Most of the things, the questions that I asked, please drop a comment and respond to me so that I can know how I've done and what you want. Also share with me, are there any topics you feel like I should address? I don't mind. You know, there's something called content block. So it happens. So please share with me. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this video to anyone who needs to watch it. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other videos when I post them. I'll see you with another video next time. Bye-bye.